240X magnification of alfalfa stem die caught. The pointer is on the epidermis. I'm going to move the pointer more internally and try to place it on important features. The area between the epidermis and the vascular elements might be called chlorenchyma if it is made of parenchyma cells which have chloroplasts and photosynthesize or it might be named cholenchyma if the cells are made to reinforce and strengthen specifically at corners. This does not have distinct corners so maybe a toss-up as to whether this should be called chlorenchyma or cholenchyma in this cortex region. The pointer is on the fibrous cap over the phloem, which is called the sclerenchyma. I have now placed the pointer on the phloem of this dicot stem. Just to the right of it will be the xylem, which are the more open cells. This is xylem. The pointer is on the cells that are more open, larger cells. On 100x magnification of the dicot stem, I have the pointer on a U-shaped area, which I believe is the phloem. And then just immediately to the above and left would be sclerenchyma. And then immediately to the bottom right in this little island would be the xylem. On, 400, on 400x magnification of the dicot stem, this bottom U-shaped area, I believe this is the phloem. And then the area above it is sclerenchyma, and then the bottom right is xylem. So xylem down here, phloem, this little rim, and then closer in this direction, this part of the island would be the sclerenchyma. Suffering a little bit here because we don't really have a differential stain. The more central area of this herbaceous stem is pith or parenchyma. In this 40x magnification of alfalfa dicot stem, I have the pointer on the reinforced corner, which is most likely cholenchyma, not chlorenchyma. Cholenchyma is for support. Chlorenchyma is parenchyma that has chloroplasts in it. On 100x magnification for the alfalfa dicot stem, that reinforced corner is pretty obvious. Cholenchyma. Of course, the outer layer is epidermis.